Making low-budget films indicates that we don't have a great deal of money to spend in any particular area. Producer and director Roger Corman. If I make a film for a million dollars, I can gamble that million dollars. But if a studio makes a film for two hundred million dollars, they're not inclined to gamble. They will prefer to go with Batman 18 or Superman 23 than to go with something original. Partially luck, but partially planning. We can go with an established veteran director who makes low-budget films, or you can gamble with somebody new, and you can talk with them, maybe teach them a little bit. For instance, Joe Dante on Piranha. He started as a trailer editor, then became an editor, then co-directed, and based on that, I gave him the opportunity to do Piranha, and he did a brilliant job. You can see the Piranha uh, cover for the DVD. It's done in 3D. Now look at this as I turn it, I turn it slightly this way, and now I'm turning it back the other way, and this is an idea that the Shout Factory had, and I think it's a great idea. You can never really predict how big a career somebody will have, but with Jim Cameron, with Joe Dante, with uh, Francis Coppola, Marty Scorsese, and so forth, I was convinced they were going to have big, important careers, but I had no way of knowing how big it was going to be. It might be said that some of my films were knockoffs. On the other hand, I think there were more films that were knockoffs of my pictures than the other way around. I remember when Jaws came out, uh, Vincent Canby wrote in the New York Times, what is Jaws but a big budget Roger Corman film? And it was. However, he didn't say it was also better, so I have to, uh, have to make that statement. Generally, the idea for the picture will be either Julie's or mine. We'll work with the screenwriter to develop the script, bring in the director somewhere in the de script development process so that it becomes, to a certain extent, the director's film. Most of our work is pre-production. During production, we step back a little bit. Having been a director, I think a director should be in charge on the set. In post-production, we give notes on each cut of the picture. The notes are suggestions, not orders. If the director and the editor don't like the note, they don't have to use it. They have to consider it, but they make their own decision as to what to use. I think the director, the writer, the actors, the producers, the cameramen, I think everybody should immerse themselves in the subjects they're making. Maybe my dropping acid and making the trip was an extreme example of that, but I think uh, you should ground yourself in it. I have a script of Crazy Horse, the great Indian leader who uh, wiped out Custer at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. It requires a little bit more money than what we're spending. We finance our films with our own money, so we don't have that much money, and also we don't want to blow what little we have, so we make low-budget and medium-budget films, and I haven't been able to get financing uh, to do Crazy Horse. This is Roger Corman, and you're watching Maxim.com.